up, Metal Soldier? Your boy Shocker360 from MetalSoldier.com, and here we go with a game against uh, Home Run Hay Haywood, and he's actually ranked 62, and I'm ranked 76. Now, this is after our game. Uh, as you guys can see here, it's a two losing uh, game streak, and I'm gonna have a wait, uh, a win of a uh, eight game winning streak. So, uh, just to let you guys know, uh, this is gonna be the perfect defense, and I'm playing a top 100 player. So I'm playing a top player from the PS4 section or console, or whatever. And um, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to play the perfect defense because some of you guys just think that you should be sending nano blitzes, and uh, you know. Maybe do not, don't know how to adjust the right way, don't know how to move players the right way, and so on. So I'm playing, coming out of the 3-4 bear. This is a new defense from uh, that I actually have been practicing uh, from uh, one of my crew members. I think it was Ice Sticks who gave me a setup, uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and just try to see how it works against uh, you know the first play of the game. Now, remember, this is a perfect defense, but just because he scored a touchdown on me doesn't mean... Uh, that this is not the perfect defense. I'm not meaning it as a perfect defense. It's just meaning how to adjust uh, to different situations. Of course, you have to put in the work. You have to uh, adjust uh, players. You have to move players around. In this case, I made a big mistake. I did not set up my depth chart. So that's a big mistake in my part because the way I set up my depth chart, I have a lot of players that have a lot of high uh, hit power and also a lot of block shit as well as a lot of acceleration to get those A-gaps to get in there and some of the blitzes to come off the edge as well. So uh, in this case, I did not have them set, them up, set up. So I'm going to go ahead and call a pause right here right, right quick and I'm going to go ahead and fix that mistake. And I came out of the 3-4 uh, bear and I actually just wanted to test that, that defense and as you guys saw, it did bit me in the ass and now I'm going to go ahead and come back. We're losing 7-3 in this game. So let's go ahead and come out in my next series on defense. So you guys can go ahead and check out uh, exactly how I adjust to my opponent. So I noticed that he actually ran to the outside. So we're going to come out in the real quick on the 4-3 wide 9. Uh, that's one of my favorite defense. Every now and then I will change defenses just to go ahead and throw my opponent off when they least expect it. Maybe like around the red zone area or maybe around the half uh, in the middle of the field. So uh, of the... Uh, of the football field so it could be around the 50 yard line that I start switching defenses up and then go back to regular 4 y 9 I always like to send a 5 man blitz out of the Y9 sometimes I like to send 4 and I like to man up the left defensive end and the right outside linebacker either or uh, sometimes I run the cover to invert and I like to leave my safeties down if I suspect that my opponent's going to actually run to the outside those safeties actually help out a lot so in this situation I'm going to go ahead and real quick uh, I, I, I got stuck here on my player, so I noticed that he's trying to throw that slant in. It's really popular against players. Uh, I guess this guy's a top 100 player, man, so that's probably pretty much a little gimmicky uh, style of offense where he just throws that slant in or he just throws a little glitchy-ass route. I also have a feeling that this guy has, is actually flipping routes because he has some routes that are just really glitchy off the edge. So I think he's flipping the routes and he might be getting them, uh, you know, just to go all kind of crazy routes all over the field and getting them wide open so as you guys can see here this time i'm gonna go ahead and man up that slot uh send the blitz off the right side but i'm not gonna go i'm not i'm not spreading my linebacker sometimes i like to spread my linebacker sometimes i don't uh, we got good uh good coverage over here because i manned that guy up so he decided to throw there and he still got the yardage which, which is fine if that's gonna happen guys uh, defense is never perfect uh, it's never perfect that they're not gonna go ahead and get a first down they will get first downs on you but Guess what? You keep adjusting, you keep uh, switching it up. I might come out in the 4 3 wide 9 flip this time. Again, uh, I might gonna go ahead and press. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, pinch the defensive line, crash down, or or all of a sudden, uh, you know, I'll leave the, safe, the linebackers as is, or sometimes I will spread them, etc. I'll go ahead and switch it up. So I got my setups there. Mostly all the time, my setups are a little bit different. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and come out real quick in the 4 y 9 This time we have the linebackers to the inside. We're manning up the the, the, the running back. We also have uh, the, with the defensive end. We have the the outside wide receiver manned up. So there we go. He decides to run to the outside. So now we got to be ready right here. We had the linebackers to the inside. So next time he comes out in, uh, in uh, once again, in this ace formation, strong power, we got to be ready to go ahead and have those linebackers to the outside because, uh, you know, we have to adjust. You see that formation again. So last time he did a strong power. This time we will hit and move the linebackers to the outside. That's exactly what we're doing here. We're manning up the same thing. We're doing the same thing. And guess what? Did not go to the outside because there's too many people out there. So he decides to go to the middle. 
We're right there. He only gets around three yards better than getting a first down. So that's how you adjust. As you guys can see there, I adjusted really well. So he only got three yards instead of getting uh, maybe another first down or second. And it would be second and two or second and one. So uh, here we go. This time he comes out again. I'm going to go ahead and move Smith a little bit to the left because I know he's probably going to run to the left again. So I gotta be ready. I'm sending the blitz on the right. I'm manning up that tight end just in case he likes to throw streaks. I know out of this formation, a lot of people just gotta like to go uh, real quick streaks, just pass, 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 pass streaks. Also, every time I'm on defense, guys, I like to uh, use your strip. I like to use your strip every single time. I strip hard, no matter what. You know, you got uh, you know uh, Patrick Willis there. You got uh, Alvin Smith. You got Brooks. Uh, you got uh, Bowman. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, those guys are, they got, they got a lot of strength, man. Those guys will knock the ball out and they even hit stick them. You know, hit stick them are, are really quick user strip. In this situation right here, uh, I think I came out in a nickel. I have no idea why I came out of nickel. I probably chose the wrong defense, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch it up. As you guys can see here, oh, I changed it up to the stack cover two. I like to come out and cover two stack because uh, I could pinch the D line a lot more than a 4 3 wide where it's a little bit wider and they could just run it up the middle. So I wanna go ahead and come out of different defense. This time I, I got burned with this defense. I'm coming out again in the cover bear, uh, cover three four bear. Uh, and I'm setting it up right here, putting this guy to the outside. The 3 4 bear actually stopped the run pretty good. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the safety. And as you guys can see there, the run could have been stopped actually behind the line of scrimmage, but it's Jamal, uh, Jamal Charles, Charles, man, who's a beast, definitely run. He already has 104 yards against me. So he is running the ball. He's, uh, you know, the defense, we just have to keep adjusting. We have to keep uh, trying to get the turnovers, trying to hit stick trying to get a turnover somehow so uh, here we go we're adjusting the players to be in the right position as you guys can see here this time we switch it up we got uh, as you guys can see here we got the safeties down to help with the run because they he's been running the ball and there we go we stop him there this time it's third down so this is a critical down now he has to get this or go for a field goal or go for it on fourth down that's what we want to do we want to put in the pressure third and two he might get this first down but again yes the goal he gets close to the goal line the harder it is for him to throw deep, the harder for him to, uh, you know, to, uh, you know, actually run the ball. Uh, you know, just gets a little bit harder every time you go on defense. It gets a little bit harder. Cost timeout. We almost the two minute warning. Coming out in three, four bear, and we're gonna go ahead and just, uh, like I said, I like to switch it up around the red zone area and then go back to what I was using again. So, uh, you know, look at this way here. I'm mixing it up three, four bear. Going back to 4-3 white 9, maybe use a couple of 4-3 stack. All of a sudden, I might come out in the 155, just random. Let me see if he could actually move the ball against 155. You never know. Uh, or I'll come out in a dime and start sending eight gaps out of dime. You know, it depends. So here, I'm going to man up that slot because that safety is down. And he's actually in a, on a flat zone. But right there, he comes out like in a field route with a running back. I don't know, it's like a flat route. And he got the first down there. So, yeah, he comes out like in that freaking glitchy ass uh, swing screen. That's what it is. Hash, halfback swing screen. Swing screen. And I really, that's annoying because sometimes they do get a lot of yards with that. And uh, I really, uh, I hate it. But still, I managed to lock it up there. He got a first down, but I uh, managed to stop him. At least he didn't go for a touch. And look at this. Telling you, I'm always pressing the user strip. Uh, some people say it's, it's not as effective as it used to be. It is. I always get one, at least one a game. Every now and then I get two. Rarely I get three, but if I could get that just one turnover, it definitely is going to make a difference in the game. Sometimes I win the game because of that turnover. I keep ahead of the game. You know, I get a turnover, I score again, and then that's it. So right here, we managed to kick a field goal, so we're back on defense. Uh, right now, I guess I'm struggling on offense, and uh, we're going to go ahead and keep adjusting. Notice that he's coming out in the ace again, on the ace pistol, ace twins. I mean, not ace twins, regular, just regular ace, so I'm going to go ahead and look the middle of the field. I like it when people pass, because when I pass, like, look at this, well, this just hit stick right there. That was actually a computer hit stick, but still, when they pass, that's what I think that's my biggest strength. I could look the field really good. And I could actually force turnovers like, by switching up coverages. This this time, I'm not going to spread the linebackers. I'm going to put them to the inside and blitz one of them. And this time, look at this. I have uh, Alden Smith right there in the yellow. I'm blitzing the right out linebacker. He comes in. He Everybody's pretty much blocked, but still. Look at that hit stick right there. 
the defense got it now the, the the way you set up the depth chart is also really important guys do not just go there and play a game make sure you have guys with a lot of hit power uh, a lot of strength a lot of acceleration especially in the deep d line position so they can get in there for a nice a gap also uh if you got somebody with uh with a lot of hip power that's definitely a big plus man so uh here we go we're in third and, and we're actually in the fourth quarter is uh we're winning 12 to 7 so we gotta stop this guy right here if uh, he scores he could actually beat us so look at this and he's wasting all the clock too he's coming out really confident on the run so it's second and two you guys can see here i'm looking in the middle of the field. he decides to throw deep hey that's a risky pass man i did risky play because actually i could actually ball hawk that that uh that play and get the int and you guys don't know how to ball hawk put it here in the comment section i'll go ahead and post the video uh, how to ball hawk appropriately man and that means there's a way you could ball hawk every single time and just just hold the button and uh and that's it and some of you guys try to do that and it does not work for you so you guys need me to help you with that put it here in the comment section i'll be more than glad to show you guys how to ball hawk the right way so we're gonna go ahead and convert uh, cover to invert notice that i flipped the play all right it might look the same but still flipping the play makes it different and therefore you could actually send the blitz sometimes the blitz just comes in screaming and even if the blitz doesn't come in look at that i almost missed him right there so uh it was a it was actually a uh, uh it wasn't it was an accident that i actually picked the dt there and actually dove for the for the sack but uh i didn't get the sack so here we go and second and ten we're gonna go ahead and set up our defense you guys can see there there we go he runs to the outside nowhere to go so basically i'm taking his runaway some i guess he's just running with one scheme he's been coming out an ace all day so he thinks that I can't stop that strong power, but I this I'm locking it up now. Third and 15. This is critical uh, down for me right here because if we don't stop him, he keeps running the ball. He could definitely get a lot closer to field goal range or get a lot closer to beat me in this game. So here we go, and uh, we got about to get started here. And uh, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and set up our defense. This time we're going to go ahead and spread our linebackers, put this guy off the edge. Notice that in the first beginning of the game, I was not doing that. Look at how close he is. I still remember that he likes to throw to those uh, slant in, so I'm always going to man, man him up there as he comes in. And, you know, there we did a good job in adjusting. He tried to throw into triple coverage. It did not happen, and he did not get it. So uh, here we go, cover to uh, invert, and we're going to go ahead and and again set up our our defense and we're gonna go ahead and try to lock up whatever he's doing right here so here we go you guys can see here this time we're gonna put this guy on the right put this guy man up the slot we close a man up that that uh running back but we're not manning up the running back because look at this crazy catch he got over that was a really close play because i was at the right of the spot my player jumped a little bit early and i guess i didn't get it he got me for a touchdown so which is fine we have no reason to panic we got the ball back we scored again we have a really good offense so uh like i said that's perfect offense we also got the perfect defense and 1915 this is where we gotta lock, lock up 27 seconds left we could get to field goal range or get a score so we're easy we're gonna go ahead and the blitz double blitz because we know he's gonna pass so we're rushing him uh, to throw the ball a little bit quicker maybe taking away one of his reads so he could go to the wrong place and uh you guys can see here we're gonna go ahead and continue here we got 23 seconds left and uh here we go we're setting up our defense manning up over here the slot wide receiver you can see here we got the defensive end guarding <laughs> the receiver on the left and there we go with a pick and that's pretty much it guys that's pretty much game over I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video guys we are playing top 100 players uh, in some of these videos so this defensive stop got me the win and he still had all his time out so he still had a long, a long time I mean might be 25 seconds but it's still a long time to go guys so uh here we go guys we beat another top 100 players here showing you guys a perfect defense a perfect offense will come up tomorrow so make sure you guys comment like and subscribe for more and if you guys like the series go ahead and like the video and comment and let me know what else would you would like to see on this series man until there's your boy shocker from manos.com bye
forget to subscribe down here below for more tips, more strategies, more schemes, more gameplays, more tournaments, and more giveaway prizes. Later, it's your boy Shock360. Hit that like button. Don't forget, comment, and subscribe.